So some shocking news came out today of Teofimo Lopez Sr. getting knocked out or jumped by Keyshawn after Keyshawn finished sparring his son Teofimo Lopez Jr. The reason why that happened, according to the reports, Teofimo Lopez Sr. had called him the N-word. But just to let you guys know, Teo and Teo Sr. always say the N-word. They said it in front of Devin Haney and they say it in front of everybody. So maybe it's how they said it. Also, if you're going to say the N-word, you're going to have to call everybody the N-word. You can't just call Devin Haney the N-word. However, not Lomachenko. This news got revealed after Shakur Stevenson called out Tiafoma Lopez to fight. However, Tio ended up rejecting to fight both Shakur and Keyshawn, which I'm going to get to that later on. For the meantime, let's get back to the business at hand. First of all, Shakur said to Tio, quote, Broski, the same ninja that watched Keyshawn knock his father out right in front of him, but get in front of the camera talking like he's the toughest ninja in the world. Bro, you the P-word. I know you in real life. End of the quote. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Shakur said, Keyshawn knocked out here from a Lopez Sr. right in front of Junior. And Junior didn't do anything. So you telling me, Tio, they smoked your father and you ain't going to do a darn thing about it? Come on now. Now these motherfuckers smoked your damn cousin in front of you, nigga. You ain't going to do shit. Let's continue. Shakur later on said, you know, I'm going to chill. I'm not even going to expose these soft boxers. Tell Tio, don't speak on my name unless he really wants to fight. That's when a boxing fan responded to Shakur by actually sharing an article of Tifa Lopez getting jumped, where he said, he's not lying. Here's some contacts on Lopez Sr. getting knocked out during a sparring session with Keyshawn and Lopez Jr. Now the article says, about a week ago, lightweight contender Tifa Lopez was sparring with a top ranked 138 pound amateur Keyshawn Davis at the top ranked gym in Las Vegas, Nevada. And a heated sparring session spiraled out of control at 500 miles per hour Words were exchanged. I'm assuming that's when T.O. Sr. called somebody the N-word. And USA Boxing Coach K punched the outspoken Tiafoma Lopez Sr. in the face, which prompted several members of the amateur boxing team to jump the elder Lopez. Now, whether or not Cormier sucker punched Lopez Sr. varies depending on who you talk to. But Cormier definitely threw the first punch. Fortunately, Lopez Jr. and world-class featherweight Shakur Stevenson, who was at the gym when this happened, took no meaningful role in the insanity or did anything that could put their upcoming bouts in jeopardy. Say it ain't so, T.O. Man, I don't care what it is. Why did T.O. stand there like Shakur and not do anything? Shakur father wasn't the one getting jumped. T.O. father was by the same man who was beating him up in sparring too. Now, according to this article, unlike what Shakur said, it was actually the coach who sucker punched T.O. Sr. first. Keyshawn only jumped afterwards and started beating up on Lopez Sr. while Tiafoma Lopez Jr. was watching the whole time. I mean, if Tiafoma Lopez Jr. didn't want to jump in the mix to defend his own father, did he at least try to break the fight? Or was he just standing there watching his father get beat up by Keyshawn and them? Well, Shakur, who was a witness there, responded to the article stating that nobody got jumped and it was Keyshawn who knocked out Tiafoma Lopez Sr. Since the article, it sounds like they got the information from a second source. It even says it on the article. However, Shakur was a witness there and he said otherwise. Shakur said, quote, yeah, that's not how it really went down though. Nobody got jumped at all. Ninjas shot the fade. Laugh out loud. End of the quote. Say it ain't so, T.O. What is you over here taking pictures with Keyshawn for? What Tio should be doing is trying his best to fight Keyshawn for supposedly hitting his father, let alone knocking out his father. This is already as bad as it gets. Tio is standing there not doing anything. Years later, Tio ends up taking pictures with Keyshawn. Then he told Keyshawn, please don't call me out. I don't want to fight you even though you savagely knocked out my own father. To make matters worse, Keyshawn ended up exposing Tio in front of the whole world during the press conference while Tio was over there pretending 
like he was reading a book. I didn't even know why Tio was pretending like he was reading a book. Now it all makes sense. Then after the fight, Keyshawn did exactly what Tio told him not to do, which is after knocking out Pedraza, Keyshawn savagely called out Tio from Lopez. And do you guys know what Tio told Keyshawn in response? Tio told Keyshawn, get a belt. Well, Devin Haney got a belt. How come Tio doesn't want to fight Devin Haney? Instead, Tio asked for $20 million to fight Devin Haney. He even said he has to be the A-side, even though he's out here selling 6,000 tickets and flopping on ESPN on free TV, only doing half a million on live TV. We're talking about a network that has over 100 million subscribers. Tio is flopping so bad on ESPN to the point where if ESPN played a throwback fight, they most likely would have had gotten more views than Tiafimo Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz fight. Therefore, we all know Tio is ducking Devin Haney, and he's using Crawford's name in order to deflect from the Devin Haney fight. Knowing damn well, if he wanted to fight Crawford, then why did he re-sign with Top Rank for a multi-fight deal even though he was a free agent and told ESPN, you guys can keep the black fighters, I'm leaving ESPN because I don't want to be in the same room with these black fighters like Shakur and Keyshawn. So the million dollar question, if Crawford was a free agent, if Tio was a free agent, why did Tio re-sign with top rank knowing damn well Crawford have a lawsuit with them? So the fight can't happen. On top of that, why did Tio after the fight with Jermaine Ortiz ask for a catchweight to fight Crawford and now he wants to fight in Honduras? To make matters worse, what was the purpose of Tio re-signing with top rank? If he's not going to fight these black fighters he envious, have hatred, and jealousy of. Tio said they getting too much promotion that they don't deserve. Well, why doesn't Tio fight them and beat them for that promotion? Snatch the spotlight from them, since Tio can't do views nor sell tickets on ESPN. Better yet, Tio went from saying, I'm leaving ESPN because he don't want to be in the same room with these black fighters. So what's the point of Tio re-signing with top rank in ESPN if he's not willing to fight these black fighters? He was better off being a free agent if he's not willing to fight the best fighters on top rank, especially Keyshawn, the fighter who put hands on his own father. Man, they smoked your father and you ain't going to do nothing, Tio. You're not going to defend your father's honor? That's disappointing to see. I know Tio Sr. is disappointed in his own son for that. But what can he do? you either born with cojones or you're not. Either you have cojones or you don't. I guess that's why Tio Jr. came out a while back and said he's not going to fight Devin Haney for a half a decade from now. And his father even went as far as saying they're not going to fight Devin Haney, Shakur, or Javante anytime soon. Those fights don't make sense. I guess cherry picking Combosis, Sando Martin, and Jermaine Ortiz makes more sense for them. Even though those cherry picks went wrong, they still don't care because T.O. main objective is not to lose to a black fighter, the race he hates the most. Last but not least, I have a question for all of you T.O. fans and everyone that's listening. If you are in Tio's shoes and you witness Keyshawn knock your father out, what would you do in that situation? Also, what would you do today if Keyshawn called you out to fight? Are you going to tell him to get a belt even though you don't want to fight Devin Haney either who has undisputed and a belt at 140? Or are you going to fight Keyshawn for what he did to your father? Let me know in the comment section below. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below. And to be continued on the next episode of Akhi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If we get a good fight with Gumbosis up in Australia, get 65,000 people, man, I'm all in for it. You know what I'm saying? In, in a, fight, a fight with Devin Haney, a fight with Javantas Davis, a fight with, with Chipur, or anybody of those guys don't make no sense right now. You know, these guys got to make up their... their um, they got to make up their resumes. They got to start fighting bigger guys, you know. But when it comes to Devin, I got to think about it. 
this guy, Devin has a not a long way. He got like maybe three to five years to get to that point to where we can make that fight happen. Three to five years to where we can make that fight happen. Oh, yeah, oh, the right hand. Good eyes. What made you mention my name in that interview? Just a question. You said Crawford would beat me. It's just an opinion. I don't like it. I hope you respect that point. I respect it. I'm not saying Pedraza's gonna beat you. Nah, I ain't say that. Cause you know that's not gonna happen. No, maybe it can. Everybody can when you step in that ring. Just don't bite the bullet. Hey, Tio, I never disrespected you, right? I took that in disrespect what you said. You did? For sure. They ain't they even mention my name when you, when, you brought up, when you brought it up. You know, a lot of times they mix my words up. I seen the video. You did? I seen it. I didn't mean to disrespect you, brother. Good business. Thank you very much. Gracias. What's going on over here with you guys? I hear this chatter back and forth. Uh, what, what's happening? I ain't gonna say exactly what we were saying, but um, you know, just seeing things in the media, the videos and stuff like that. And, you know, fighters like to bring up things that happen, you know, behind closed doors, but they don't speak on everything that happened. So yeah, you know, I asked for a picture, but this man did tell me not to call him out after this fight. So you take that for what it is. Keyshawn Jose, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Hey, listen, your dad asked for 20 million for the Devin fight, man. Is that is, the, is that's what holding up the fight? What's that again? Your dad asked for 20 million at one time for the Devin oh, fight. Stop it. Before. Come on now. Come on, guys. Come on now. Devin Haney, he's just using the clout. That's just the name, bro. It's just the name. Is there a personal beat brewing between you and Keyshawn John? Keyshawn Davis? Come on, Jordo. Come on. Who is Keyshawn? He hasn't good. won a world title. I don't know Come that on. kid. Until he wins a world title and does something in the boxing world, don't use my name. Use his. Tio Fimo been doing a lot of talking lately. So, hey, I go up to 140 and fight Tio Fimo. What's up? Get this win tonight. Tio Fimo, you already know how I'm coming. You and your father. So let's set it up. Let's set it up. I'll come straight to 140. I'll come straight to 140. Let's go.